was pop and we are here today for week four of the wbe currently three and oh in the league right now looking to hopefully get another win here we got to win as much as possible um there's only eight weeks in total we are on week four now so i guess you could say this is the halfway point of the season so let's see what we can do try to get another win here if we can and this week we're going to be taking on my buddy seabad who i believe is still the coach of the detroit steel wings he changed his mascot though it's looking pretty fresh with the corvanite but let's talk about his pokemon he's bringing uh bolton braviary Doblade, coma o milotic galarian mr mime rabombi sandaconda turtonator and a vile plume so the list should have already appeared to your right and he has uh, a very interesting team like if you take a look at his pokemon right rabombi itself is a nuisance it can sticky web it can quiver dance and it has the nice coverage that can deal with a lot of my team i do have some great options for it though but sticky rubs itself is annoying um and pair that with something like como -O, which has great setup potential it can you go for the new move clanger soul cut cut its hp by a little bit raise all of its stats by one and start clicking buttons or it can dragon dance it can also autonomize even or even run like a defensive like a stealth rocks even iron defense body press that could be kind of annoying too um so very versatile mana that we got to deal with then he also has the gmax anaconda which can coil hit him up uh, hit our pokemon up for like good uh good coverage good damage and stuff with the um the signature gigantamax ground type attack which i think has the effect of sand um sand tomb or whatever like the one that does residual damage so that can be very annoying too but um all in all he has some pokemon we got to watch out for so Let's talk about the team that I'm bringing this week. I decided to bring some heat sets uh, this time around. We're 3-0, right? But I definitely still want to win this game. So I, I definitely prepared seriously. But at the same time, I'm bringing some rather fun sets or some new sets that you've not seen before in debuting a new Pokemon as well. So I have Arcanine as my first Pokemon here. Weakness Policy, 3 Attacks, Sunny Day. This set is designed to destroy Milotic because if Milotic clicks Scald as we Sunny Day, we don't take much damage. We get the weakness policy boost and solar beam destroys my logic like it will it will shred that thing um, which is great and i'm running flash fire over intimidate because i don't want to activate my logic's competitive ability which will boost a special attack by two so don't want to do that and i think also um i think i don't know i think boltund might have competitive too but it doesn't have great special attack bravery has defiant so we don't want to activate that either um so flash fire i think is the way to go in this week when he has so many pokemon that can boost when its stats are dropped so we don't want that to happen sunday day three attacks so it's a mixed attacker as well so we get a plus two in attack right player off will easily oko coma o and it does at least neutral damage to turtonator the other moves just hits everything for at least neutral damage if not super effective damage so i do like that a lot and it's enough speed to outrun milotic after sticky webs and that also covers things like Como O as well as Braviary and things like that. Um, I think Arcanine is great for this matchup. So I brought that. Then I also brought Zatu. Choice Scarf Zatu here, which is another new set that I brought. Um, Choice Scarf because of the fact that it outruns a plus one Como O and Oko's back with Dazzling Gleam. So that can be really useful as well as having Psychic for hitting things for that nice stab, uh, that nice stab super effective damage maybe versus like Vile Plume or stuff. Um, U-turn for momentum, trick potentially to uh, lock another Pokemon into a move, or just to um, cripple one of his defensive walls. Uh, he has potential for defensive Vile Plume, maybe like a fatter uh, Sandaconda. Even though like Sandaconda can unshackle itself through G-Max, it could be useful maybe. Um, but it's mainly versus like trick is mainly versus the uh, um, maybe the Turtonator, maybe the Vile Plume, maybe the Milotic. That's about it. Uh, other than that, I think that Zatu is great because it has a great speed tier and it can outrun things and uh, do some nice Choice Scarf stuff. Then we have our Grim Snarl. You already know I have to bring Grim Snarl every week, almost, uh, depending on the matchups. But, like, I, there's no reason not to bring it this week either. Look at this thing, right? Bulk up three attacks. And um, I'm running Ice Punch this time for Vile Plume, Sandaconda, and Como O, and Braviary, as well as uh, Power Whip which will hit Milotic and also hit Sandaconda. I think Grassy Terrain should weaken the um, the G-Max ground move or just the ground moves in general. So it does that, it gives us residual recovery and um, has another effect, which I'll show soon. But Lumberry is there in order to avoid getting burned from um, Milotic Scald. Milotic should be faster naturally. 
if he's not running any speed, if he is running speed, then he'll obviously definitely be faster than us. But um, the Lumberry prevents us from getting burned. also prevents us from getting paralyzed by Glare from Sandaconda or Stun Spore from Rabambi. Uh, so there are options for him to status. We have a guaranteed way out for one turn. Um, and yeah, and this is also going to be faster than a no speed Sandaconda. Uh, but I'm, I don't, he, may, he may run speed. Like I've seen his sets, uh, his previous games or previous weeks and seen some of the sets, the sets that he's brought. Like he has speed on that thing, but we'll see if he brings it this time or not. But these are our first three Pokemon. Now let me show you what we pair GMAX Grimmsnarl with here. Look at this. I'm going to talk about Rillaboom next. Rillaboom is there for uh, Grassy Seed. So let's say we go for the Max Overgrow. Max Overgrow summons Grassy Terrain. That will not only power up Rillaboom's Grass-type attack, but it will also activate Grassy Seed, which then, in turn, with no item and a plus one defense, powers up Acrobatics. And then a plus two Acrobatics Oko's a Max HP, Max Defense Vileplume. And you usually see Vileplume as sort of a, a switch-in or a... I guess you could call a counter to um, Rillaboom, but not anymore. Not with plus two acrobatics. That thing Oko's Vileplume, and um, it also will Oko Como -O as well. And that's great. Uh, drum beating, which will hit everything for really hard damage. And then I have Earthquake here. Even though Earthquake is weakened by our own grassy terrain, um, it's still there as sort of a coverage move for Turtonator. I wouldn't really be clicking it otherwise, but it's there for basically um, Turtonator as well as do blade and yeah stuff like that which is fine because we have the defense boost and those two pokemon well the, the, at least do blade is a physical attacker um turtonator is a special attacker but either way like it'll hit for really hard damage especially at plus two it hits extremely hard enough speed to outrun um the braviary i think didn't want to just run enough speed to speed tie como -O. i think the additional bulk is pretty useful because it avoids getting too killed by um, by Bolton, so which is which is really nice from the Fire Fang. Then we have uh, Seismitoad, which is there for rocks, and uh, just a classic Chinese set with the EV spread we got here. I mean, there's not much to explain other than this is Chinese Seismitoad with Rindo Berry, and uh, rocks toxic to attacks. Finally, a Scavalier, which is there um, for the purpose of actually a Scavalier is fantastic in this matchup because it deals effectively with Vileplume which of course cannot carry any hidden power fires or anything like that. For Bombi as well, which can't carry hidden power fires, once again, because there's no hidden powers in the game. And then also um, Glary and Mr. Mime, which uh, it takes all of those stab moves, it takes all the hits from it easily. And to top it all off, even if we get chipped down all the way, we got Chesto Resto. <laughs> we got the way to heal ourselves back up. And then Swords Dance just to break through defensive walls, like Vile Plume can infinitely or just easily wall this thing with Strength Zap, but uh, Swords Dance will outboost it and um, be able to beat Vileplume one v one, so that's why I have that. But other than that, it's just a great Pokemon. It can knock off things, get rid of items, and um, put in the finest of work. And that's gonna be the team here. Hope you all enjoy uh, this builder. I guess seeing the sets that I'm bringing, we can hopefully see it put in the work. I gotta play real soon though. But um, but yeah, let's see how much we can uh, make these make this team put in work. See what we can do with it and. My overall prediction of what he's going to bring, yeah, I think he's going to be definitely the Sanaconda, um, the Como as well, and then Rabambi, Milotic, Vile Plume, and then the last one is probably up for like whatever. Like, But those five I think are going to definitely make an appearance uh, for sure. So yeah, let's queue into the game and I will see you guys there. Yo, what's poppin'? You already know we are here today, back to back. Draft League Games, uh, week four of the WBE now. And we're going to be taking on my boy Seabat. And uh, he's a good friend of mine. I'm excited to play him uh, this season of the WBE. We have faced, I think, before uh, in different leagues. Probably also once in the WBE, I'm not sure. But um, you guys saw the team. We we're bringing the heat. Uh, let's see if we can uh, put in some work with this uh, with the squad that we have here. Uh, I'm excited. And um, let's get right into it. See what he brought. So he has, ooh, very interesting team. He has the Boltund. All right. He also has the uh, Dublade. That's a pretty scary team. Uh, Vile Plume as well. Nora Bombi, which is really good for us. Um, he also has the G Max Sandaconda. That's a big threat. Como O, and of course the uh, Mr. Rhyme. Oh, Mr. Mime, sorry. 
So he has the uh, pre-evo of my Pokemon, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So looking at his team, so like I said, right, he doesn't seem to have Rabombi. So I don't need to, I, I probably don't need to lead with uh, with the Zatu, but I could. Just because I am Choice Scarfed. Um, but Rillaboom can also be a, oh sorry, um, Seismito can be a fantastic lead here. Though he could also lead off with the, uh, what you would call it, the Mr. Mime. <laughs> Expecting a Seismito lead. But I think I'm just going to lead with Zatu, just because it gives me fast momentum with U-turn. Uh, I do like that. And I don't think he'd be Choice Scarf Boltund, I think he'd be probably Choice Banded. So I don't know if he leads with it or not. He might predict my Seismitoad lead and lead Vileplume. I've seen him lead Vileplume before. But I think the Zatu lead is fine. I was kind of prepared to leave with it anyways. Um, and it's actually going to be the Mr. Rhyme. Okay, or oh, Mr. Mime. I keep thinking it's Mr. Rhyme because it's just not... <laughs> it's not a Mr. Mime. Like, Mr. Mime is... Uh, is different in my mind after having seen it for like so many generations. Um, I don't think he'd be choice scarfed, so I mean he could be choice scarfed. I have a safe switch in into uh, into a scavalier, so it could be a choice scarf one maybe. But I do want to scout initially. Um, a scavalier is a completely safe switch in. Could also be a Violite or Nasty Plot or something too. But this thing is base 100, so I don't want to risk it right yet. Goes to the Freeze Dry, that's perfectly fine. We eat this up four days. And we can just fire off a knockoff or an... I think a knockoff is great here. Um, looking at his team, doesn't really have the best knockoff switch-ins, so I'm going to go for that. He did some decent damage though. Does switch out here, okay, perfectly fine. Goes into Sprig, that is going to be Vileplume. So we get to hit this up. Vileplume actually can't do um, anything to us except for Strength Sap. We get rid of this Black Sludge, which is great. Um, I don't see why we can't just set up a Swords Dance. He can't touch this thing other than going for Strength Sap. And he can't Sleep Powder us either because of uh, Overcoat. Uh, Overcoat prevents him from going for Sleep Powder. And this thing looks very defensive too. He does double into Sandaconda. Okay. So actually versus Sandaconda, what I want to do is not stay in here because I've seen him run Fire Fang before on this thing. Um, so I definitely want to go into my Chinese set. Potentially get up the rocks. Him not having Rabambi is really good for us, I think. Um, though finding a way to get rid of... So like, the fastest thing on his team is going to be the Boltund. And the Mr. Mime, the Galar Mime. He actually doubles. Ooh. Okay, where does he go? Uh, Vile Plume. Okay. I mean, that's that's okay. Like, it, I'm not too worried about that. I always have a safe switch going into uh, to a Scavalier. And I, I hope you notice I changed the nickname because it's been getting tricked too many times. <laughs> it's been getting tricked too many times with the choice spec, so I call it Trick House now. That's basically what it is. So we get to go back into it. We're, we are Resto Chesto on this thing. Um, which is really good. He goes for Giga Drain. That should do pitiful damage. Sort of. Yeah. Not bad. Um, I could probably just go here for the uh, knockoff once again. Predicting his switch out. I don't think he'd stay in. Oh, he actually does Leech Seed this time. He actually also didn't bring the Milotic either, which is very interesting. I'm kind of curious about that too. Um, let's see here. I kind of want to go into um, Arcanine. Seeing that he doesn't have Milotic, because I, I planned this Arcanine for the Milotic. So I'm kind of curious why I didn't bring that. 
I also could have gotten to Zatu here and uh, <laughs> bounce back the strength sap too, but it's all right. We got rid of his black sludge, which is okay. So I could fire off a straight up flamethrower here if I wanted to. Um, I am faster than Komo as well. Because I'm predicting Sandaconda to come out here. Hmm. What's his fire? His fire switch is Koma O, right? You could also play off predicting, uh, <laughs> predicting Koma O to come in. Um, but I think I'll just regular flamethrower here for now, at least. Get some damage off on something. Yeah, that, that's gonna be the Koma O. So I think a flamethrower plus a. Uh, Player of actually, I think a player of would might knock it out from this range, depending on his set. I mean, I definitely want to get damage on this thing. Yep, nice player of. Does not knock it out, so it's probably defensive. Any flash cannons? Predicting maybe Grim Snarl or something, but that's really good for us. Gets a spadef drop as well, um, which is okay. There's nothing stopping me from going for another player up here. Como is super weakened. Um, he could also switch out though. But that was a tough prediction right there. Predicting, I think, Grimmsnarl to come in on my side. But I'm like a mixed Arcanine. And, um... Minaka Komo here. So that thing is gone. Huge threat out of the way immediately. Um, so we take those. But the G-Max Anaconda is still there, uh, of course. So that is um, that is going to be something we have to watch out for. Um, okay, so yep, the Sandaconda does come in here. Okay, so what we have to do... Go into our Seismitoad here. Seismito is basically, it sort of acts as, I guess you could say, the um, the Mon that takes at least one hit from this thing, which gets us into Grimmsnarl safely. So it just depends whether or not he decides to Gigantamax first. As the lesson of PokeMMD says, he who Dynamaxes or Gigantamaxes first um, might lose first, <laughs> maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but, you know, I, I think going side is fine. I don't know if I'm worried too much about Boltund. That, I mean, that thing is a huge threat, of course. But he's actually making some pretty good doubles. Uh, goes into his uh, Vile Bloom here. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's a good switch. So, what I'm actually going to do first is... Um, I'm going to go Zatu first. And then go Escavalier. Just because um, I can actually bring it bring it in safely without taking a Leech Seed or a Giga Drain or anything like that. So he Giga Drains here. Yep, yep. That, sh that actually does a, what? <laughs> that is a decent chunk. Hold up. It does a little bit of damage there. So his Psychic Switching would be Mr. Rhyme, right? Or Dublade. Um, and I don't want to accidentally U-turn and get slept by uh, effects. Well, actually, you know what? He, he wouldn't stay in, right? So we're gonna U-turn out. Yeah, there we go. So we get the switch initiative here. Who does he go into? That's uh, gonna be Boltund, okay. Nice, nice. So this will give us a switch into our Seismitoad. And now we can get up rocks. Uh, this allows us to get up rocks here, which is great. I don't know what item the uh, Mr. Rhyme is going to be, but if it's not Heavy Duty Boots, or Mr. Mime is going to be, I don't know if it's not Heavy Duty Boots or not, but we'll find out once we set up rocks. So we'll go for that right now. Goes for the Crunch. Aha. Uh -huh. That does a ton of damage and gets a defense drop too. This is uh, Choice Banded, I think. It's going to be Choice Banded. Um, which means that it's in my best interest to switch out here. 
So we are going to go into uh, Grimmsnarl, which is times four, um, not very effective. And let's start putting in the work with this Mon here. So Grimmsnarl can come in. We'll take the crunch from this. Nice, nice. And then we can just go for a bulk up here. I don't know if the Vile Plume is faster or not, but I think bulk up is the play. Because this thing should be locked in, right? Because it did so much damage with the crunch. We didn't see an item either, so it has to be Choice Banded. Because I am running some defensive EVs as well. So he switches out, okay. Goes into uh, the Vile Plume. Takes Rock's damage, perfect. So I don't know if I want to... Uh, I'm really tempted to Gigantamax here and knock this thing out. Um, let me do a calc on this thing real quick. I don't usually calc, but... I usually go on intuition, but I think this is the time. <laughs> this is the time and the place to calc right now. Because we got time, right? We got some... I mean, we got some time. Um, Vile Plume. And this should be defensive. This is going to be plus one... Hmm. Cause I think in theory I could I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure he's defensive. And then 130 power. Yeah, this should not get out in one hit. So we're gonna go forward here. I don't think he's faster than me, so. This should definitely knock it out in one hit. I did EV it to Oko, uh, max defense Vile Plume. So I don't know why I calc that, but I just wanted to be sure. Uh, just because I didn't check the calc before. So, let's go Grimmsnarl. Hugh Dynamax this first. Let's see what happens. I mean, if we get a if we get a huge head start, we might uh, put in the work. Max Hailstorm, let's go. So Vile Plume's dead, basically. Plus one from this thing. Yep, that's gone. Goodbye to you. And the rest of his team basically uh, does not have much for my coverage. So he's kind of forced to go, I think, Sandaconda and uh, Gigantamax in order to actually live a hit. Or he'll sack a lot of Mons first. Sox is the uh, Boltund. This should get O-Code by a Max Darkness. I don't know if I want to get the Grassy Terrain up though, because that could be kind of nice. Um, just to weaken Sanaconda and actually hit it harder once... Um, yeah, I think we'll go for... Like, I'm pretty sure the Overgrow knocks it out in one hit. Boltun does not uh, take us out with anything. Even a play rough, I think. Like, we eat that up. Or plus one defense. So Max Overgrow here is the play. This will weaken the uh, Sandaconda's... Ground type attacks, and also power up our own uh, power whip. So this thing is gone. He has uh, three Pokemon left, which is great for us. We do get damaged by the hail, but also recovery with the uh, terrain. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Uh, I like that a lot. Um, we only have one turn left though, so we gotta use it wisely. But at this point in time, I don't think we really need to switch out. I mean, we have a Scarfer in the back as well. We have Arcanine still pretty healthy. That can take on the Dublade and the Mr. Rhyme. Uh, Mr. Mime. I get confused a lot. Um, apologies. I have Mr. Rhyme on my team. He's probably watching in the back saying, No, that's me. Alright, what is this thing? This is, uh... Yeah, okay. Well, he's sacking all of his faster mods. So, I mean, I will... <laughs> I, will I will take that. That's heavy duty boots. Um, it did not take damage from rocks. I did notice that. He does rapid spin here. Gets rid of the rocks. Um, hmm. I don't know if that's worth it. Because your last two are Dublade and Sandaconda. So maybe additional damage might have been nice. But that's okay. That's okay I think. Uh, he wanted to get rid of rocks. I assume to be faster than me in case he lived. But I mean... He, I don't know, he was guaranteed faster to begin with. 
So last one is gonna be, or sorry, second to last is gonna be this Pokemon here. So he will get to uh, Gigantamax. As we go for a, I think just a power whip here is fine. We're plus one defense. So we don't let him set up or anything either. So he gets the Gigantamax here. He may knock out a Mon, he may not. Um, I don't know the power of, or I don't know how much investment he's running in offense and offensiveness. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see for sure what happens here. So he goes for what? Let's see. Uh, G Max Sandblast. That's going to be the ground type attack. We are plus one defense, and there is grassy terrain up, so that's de definitely a crit. Um, no, it's not a crit. Hold up. Then, oh, Life Orb. Max attack. Uh, okay. Hmm. Very interesting. And he was faster than me. But my Rillaboom is going to be faster though. So I definitely want to go into it right now. That knocked me out through grassy terrain though. That's weird. And plus one defense. I... Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. But I thought that grassy terrain reduces the damage of... Even the max moves from ground type attacks. Sandblast is the signature move, I think. But we get the defense boost here. I think we just go for the drum beating. I don't need to set up an SD just yet, I think. Like, that does good damage on its own. Max airstream. Oh, he's trying to get the speed boost on me too. So it's a good thing I actually did not um, allow that to happen. Uh, because drum beating actually reduces the speed. Hail stopped, okay. Um, that's fine. Hey, this is the Rillaboom debut, by the way. <laughs> Rillaboom gets to show itself with, uh, not with Grassy Train, but with our own Pokemon setting it up for us. I actually did not know that Sandaconda got an Airstream. Hmm. I should have saw I should have looked that up. But it's a good thing Rillaboom's lowering the speed. Good damage. Lowers the speed here. So we get knocked out here. This I think is going to be a 4-0 victory. Um, because Arcanine should take it out. And then the last Pokemon is going to be Dublade. And we'll take that out as well. Um, so pretty good for us I think. Yeah Rillaboom really came into play here because... If Sandaconda got fast, <laughs> who knows what we could have done. Because I'm pretty... He might have had a rock move on this thing too. Um, and it could have been really bad. Uh, if he had gotten those Airstream boosts potentially set up even. I mean, we Dynamax first. We, or we Gigantamax first. So... Thankfully, we... Uh, we are able to come through. So Arcanine can just pick the last two Mons off with the... Uh, flamethrower to win the game, I think. We are max special attacks, so Dublade should at least get uh, 2 hit KO'd. Or at the very most get 2 hit KO'd, I, I meant to say. So we can Flamethrower, knock this thing out. Good old Arcanine. I'm a little sad we didn't get to show off the uh, weakness policy set versus Milotic. But at the same time, I'm happy that we got to show off the um, grassy seed Rillaboom, uh, which is really fun. We got to show that off. Uh, so that's another tech that I really wanted to uh, showcase as well. Um, but we still saw some Arcanine usage, which is great. Uh, it was able to knock out the Como-O, the Sanaconda. And I think also the Dublade. Dublade, I don't think, gets head smash. Um... I mean, it does, okay, it does get Rock Slide, but not Head Smash, okay. I think Aegis Slash is the one that gets Head Smash, not this thing. So we can just Flamethrower this to um, 1 KO or 2 KO it. This is going to be a 2 KO. He does Swords Dance here. A Swords Dance Shadow Sneak won't take us out. Um, and even if it does somehow with a crit... Seismitoad can probably live a hit from that. He doesn't even Shadow Sneak either, so 
That is going to be GG. It is Envy. So it's a pretty solid game. I mean, he brought uh, he brought some threats for sure. I think we had the tools to deal with them, to deal with those threats. We had the, uh, the right Pokemon that could take them out, and uh, that's going to be that. So that puts us at 4-0 right now in the league. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if Joey won this week or not, but if he did, that puts us both at 4-0, and we're actually facing each other for week 5 to give each other... Potentially, whoever you know wins that game will give the other their first loss um, of the season, uh, which is going to be exciting. I'm excited for that match in particular, just because we're both literally the top two uh, right now in the league. So we'll see what happens in that one. Of course, GG to my opponent, GG Seabat, uh, definitely. Always a pleasure playing you. I encourage you all to uh, check out his channel. He's a great dude, um, good friend of mine, and uh, and yeah. So. Um, with that being said, I look forward to hearing from you all. As always, um, let me know what you guys think, of course. And that's going to be that. I will see you all on the next video. And peace.